Hey, welcome back, friends. We're out here on the Indian Out backyard on this beautiful, crisp Monday morning. We're with Chris Ely from the Goose Market at 25th and Delaware, and our good friend Jolene Ketzenberger. And look who it is, Jillian's here too. <laughs> well, I smelled what was coming from the grill, and I thought I have to get out there immediately. Yeah. So here I am. Yeah. We're talking about this world famous Ketzen burger in honor of Jolene, Chris. And uh, if people are just now tuning in, let's talk about that special blend in the patty. Sure. So that's the uh, brisket, the short rib, chuck, and sirloin in that patty. So mm. four different cuts in there, all prime cuts. All right. Now, uh, what is, uh, what's the temperature that you're cooking these at? Pretty hot. So you want to start to get the grill nice and hot when you start them. Um, season the grill. So just, you know, a little bit of oil, make sure it's nice and clean. Season the patties real well, um, and when they hit the grill, you should hear that sizzle right, oh, yeah. right when they hit it. They are sizzling. Yeah. Man, they are nice. Jolene, again, how do you feel about having a burger named in your honor, friend? I just love it. It just makes me so happy. It just, I don't know, it just, it just tickles me yeah, to see yeah. that. Um, so, you know, to know that it's a it's a delicious product, so, um, and it, it's Chris's favorite blend, so, you know, I might not have I've uh, certainly thought about all the different uh, different uh, cuts that go into a burger. Mm. Um, so it's so nice to have somebody uh, come up with one you know, that's, that's just right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jolene, as someone who's known in our community as trying all kinds of food, all, any burger you yep. can imagine right. in our city, what do you think makes this one so good? Um, I, you know, I do think it's the different cuts, you know, that are that are in there. So you know, just the right amount of fat because yeah. you know you don't want a burger that's too lean. Right. right? You need a little bit of the you, fat. You in need there. the you yeah. need the fat in there uh, for the flavor and and the juiciness as well. Um, you know, and also I think it's some of it's some of the you know what you top it with. I think you really need really good condiments and uh, you know, Goose has a special sauce. Oh, a special sauce. You can get. Oh, okay. Chris, we're hearing about the special sauce. Yeah. Can you can you give us any secret about what's in Is there? Is this a secret, I actually don't Chris? know. I don't know. Oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> and I couldn't tell you. But wow. I, so I don't know. Nobody okay, knows. all right. Wow, mum's the word, I guess, about this special right. sauce. But, but you can get it at Goose. You can. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, order Goose.com by the end of the day tomorrow, and you can get it for Memorial Day. Oh, man. You don't need to know what's in it. <laughs> well, we made it for you. That's right. Okay. Just enjoy it. I have yeah. a question, actually, for both Chris or Jolene, whoever wants to answer this, because I've actually gotten into grilling more. But I don't always get it totally right. What do you think is the biggest mistake someone makes when they're trying to grill mm. like this? Oh, oh, there's so many. No, I don't. <laughs> it's a good question. You can do it all wrong. It's a good question. Yeah. One, just make sure it's clean. I mean, definitely a good yeah. thing. Like, clean it every time. Clean it before you start. Clean it, you know when you're done so it's clean the next time you have it um, but make sure it's hot enough and I think a lot of time as long as you're wanting to sear something I mean depending on the thickness of what you're doing you want to make sure that it's hot enough that when it hits the grill it's it's gonna start searing it right away mm, that's a good tip yeah. Yeah. I like that. Jolene would you add anything to that I think not not moving them around too much okay you Ooh, know people okay. tend to want to Flip yes. and flip yeah. and move and turn and that sort of thing. You know, yeah, let it sit there and cook. Yeah. Get those nice grill marks on it. Oh, yeah. we, are getting, uh -huh. we are getting beautiful grill, grill, marks. grill yeah. marks. Yeah, those oh are perfection over beautiful. there. Chris, I let's talk wait. one more time about this special deal about how people can go and get these Ketzen burgers at your shop. They okay, can, so you can uh, order online, have them pick up at the store, or you can have them delivered at ordergoose.com. Order by the end of day Tuesday, tomorrow, and uh, we'll have them ready for you. Oh man, it smells so good, and they're just almost ready. I think we might have to enjoy one in the commercial I break, maybe. I can't wait to try yeah. one of these. Yeah. Oh, we're toasting the buns. You have to oh, toast the buns, yeah. too. Yeah, toast the buns. Yeah, and don't that press adds down a lot. on it. You know, don't unless you're going to do a smash burger, don't press it. Don't okay. press down. Yeah, don't don't okay. press the juices tip. out of it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. These have been some great grilling tips. I cannot wait to eat one of these. And we still have a lot more coming up on Indy Now. That's right. More Indy Now after this. Stick around.